Hello and welcome to episode 84 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. Now we are getting very, very close to the end. There's basically three episodes left, maybe four, if we push it, if we need to. And we're only in February, we've got a long way to go. I did want to play these two games though, because uh, both away games, both London derbies, both big sides, fourth and fifth respectively in the league. They're, these are big games, these are big games. And then uh, before we next speak on Monday, I will have hoped to have played and progressed in the Europa League against RB Leipzig. Uh, Leicester, yeah, we'll go through all of these. Want to probably try and get quite far, maybe even Europa League quarterfinals far. Maybe Man City and then a semi-final will be the next episode. And then maybe a semi-final second leg. And then maybe a final the game. I mean, it's not that many games, really. I just need to work out how to spread them out amongst three episodes. Uh, but obviously... How are we doing now? Well, we're doing very, very well. Thank you very much indeed. We're three points ahead of Man City at the top of the league. We've done some serious business in the transfer window. And Gubin Koyalapu is still top of the goal rankings. Uh, that's a bit of a sad one, actually, because I don't know how many minutes he's going to get since we've signed about a million strikers. To some of your dismay, I have to say the comments have been mixed, and I can understand why. There's been some interesting choices, but we've got a derby to get against Chelsea, and well, which of the many, many strikers will we use? Who knows? Queen Diacra's got her boys pumped up for this one. Let's keep the winning run going. Let's take a look at the side. <sighs> and again, Mbappe on a downward arrow. He doesn't want a debut, does he? He really doesn't want a debut. I guess we're going to have to bring in Goodwin on the flashing blue today. <sighs> That's a shame, though. Really would like to see Mbappe play for us at some point before the end of this series. Uh, Tielemans on a downward arrow. A lot of you saying we should have maybe signed some backup in midfield. Maybe signed a backup at centre-back as well. We didn't. We didn't. We signed Mounier instead. We probably had an option to spend that money on. Maybe someone a bit more sensible. But we've got the target man that we always wanted. If things are really going badly. Uh, a lot of flashing arrows at the back. That's good to see. Some tired legs. Up against the Chelsea side. They've got Xhaka. Ex-Arsenal, obviously. Hazard and Moses behind Diego Costa. Matip and Rudiger at the back. Harry Kane on the bench. Let's hope he doesn't come on because that would be fated for a goal. Right, let's get into it. So here we are at the bridge. This is a game that we really need to win to keep the momentum going. London derbies are always fierce. Chelsea not so much of a big derby for Arsenal really. Obviously, it's the Spurs game coming after this one that really means a lot to the fans. But Chelsea are in fourth place. They're sniffing around. They're having a decent season. We need to just keep them at bay. We've looked imperious at times, brushing aside other teams who would in theory be in the race. Can we keep that going today? Well, let's get into it. Come on. Hernandez down the line into Thomas Lamar. He's been excellent since signing. He's seen the run of Gubin Koyalapu and it's a perfect ball into the striker. Oh, Matip just does enough. Pinpoint pass there from Thomas Lamar. That's why we signed him. Dembele just wasn't providing the assists we wanted. Lamar certainly has already. With balls like that, you know there's going to be more. And now Koyalapu can find Thomas Lamar. Drink water coming over, but Lamar's away from him very easily. Slips it into the path of Tielemans. Moses does really well. Sanchez will put a ball in. Lamar at the far post jumps with Matip. Oh, and Kyalapu can't get to it. Good strong start here, though. That's more great work here. Oh, this is nice. James Rodriguez now. A chance to put a ball into the box. Steps back away from Salter. Into Kyalapu on the chest. Away from Matip. Looks to get the shot in. More good defending. Desperate defending from Chelsea. Really strong first 12 minutes here from Arsenal. Sanchez, he'll whip one in, Koyalapu with the header at the near post, yes, get in there, and Golden Boots has been out of the side, and he's got to be worried for his place, but he's done well in training this week, Green Diacro giving him the start, despite Mbappe, despite Mounier, despite Big Rog, despite Hulk, yes, we do have some options, despite all of them available, Kukwin Koyalapu had certainly impressed during the week, handed the start today in great form, and he's put that one away. Matip has already been a... Had his work cut out against the young Frenchman. But Golden Boots didn't even need to use the Golden Boots. Use the old Golden Forehead. He's directed that beautifully. What a header. Rose well. We're off the mark. Oh, Alonso. Beats Dubois. Danger here as Eden Hazard will come against Tielemans. Beats him. Beats Dubois too easily. Shot comes in. Oh my god. Butland didn't look sure there. Somehow got a claw to it. 
Eden Hazard, well, that's what he's good at. Beating men. Beats one. Pass Dubois way too easily. I think it was Marquinhos who got a touch to that. Thomas Rodriguez. Oh, the Colombian fired up for this one. Just going to be a talking to, is it? No, it's going to be a yellow card. That's fair. Two rough challenges in a row. But he's up for it. He understands how much this means. I don't know. There was much, wasn't much wrong with that first one. If that's the yellow card. Just a flailing arm. That's all that was really wrong there. It goes into the book. And that's half time here. And it's the goal in the 15th minute from Goodwin Koyalapu. Golden boots with the golden touch. And that was the only shot we had in the game. Wow. Yeah, well, Chelsea did come back at us pretty strong. I felt like we were doing better than that. The home side obviously did not like going behind early on, as you'd expect. With their fans jeeing them on, they really put the pressure on. But we were able to hold out. Thought fairly well. Butland had that tricky save from Hazard. But other than that, I think we're pretty comfortable. Alexis Sanchez now. Looking for options. Around the corner into Goodwin Koyalapu. Ball in looking for Lamar. Oh, he's come away from it. <laughs> Almost got to it. Jesus, that was close. Didn't look to be in a great position to hit that one, but he managed to somehow wrap a foot around it. Pedro now. Just to chip it into Harry Kane. The substitute. First time effort. Tielemans. Oh, that's a good clearance. Only as far as drink water. Fabinho. Can't get it away. Eden Hazard. Great effort. Dubois. And Tielemans will collect and bring it away. Jesus Christ. Oh, Fabinho gives away. A free kick on the edge of the box here. Chelsea putting us under all sorts of pressure here. 73 minutes gone and it's going to be Marcus Alonso. Surely too far to go for goal. He's gone for it. The cheeky... Oh, it's off the post. Jesus, we're hanging on. Really hanging on here. So first minutes here for Kylian Mbappe. Coming on for a very tired looking Thomas Lamar. who has been excellent. And uh, Marquinhos going into defensive midfield. And Zagadou back into centre back. Just to give Tielemans uh, a bit of a rest. He has run his socks off today. A lot of you will be thinking, why didn't you sign another central midfielder? Then you wouldn't have to be playing Marquinhos out of position. Yeah, you're, you're right. Y you are right. Oh, Hammers. Needed to win that back. Kane with the effort. Butlin with the save. Hammers Rodriguez caught in possession there. In the worst place possible. We really are looking to give this one away. If we hold on to this, I'm going to be absolutely amazed. Xhaka to put in another corner for Chelsea. Butland punches. Mbappe's first action in an Arsenal shirt is a desperate headed clearance. That's not what we signed him for. Now Harry Kane. Arsenal's kryptonite. Drink water. Oh no, they're all queuing up here. Oh my god, no, no. Fabinho heads away, but not far. Not far enough. Kane. No, no, no. Fuck! That was so obviously going to happen. Just couldn't get it away. It was just coming. It was coming wave upon wave of Chelsea attack. We could only live on our luck for so long. Ah, oh, Laporte. That's really poor. Fuck. Can't believe we've done this. Oh, that's poor. Now Koyalapu can find Kylian Mbappe. The new signing. Inside of Rudiger. Kylian Mbappe. Can he do it? <laughs> oh, welcome to London, Kylian. Welcome. I think you're going to have a great time here. If you can do things like that, coming in off the wing. Basically, his first touches in an Arsenal shirt. Steps inside of Rudiger like he's not even there. He's on a downward arrow today as well. Imagine having him down the centre. Well, Goodwin Koyalapu will probably be having nightmares about that today. Because that is exactly what we bought him for. And that is potentially saving us the three points. And uh, yeah, just things opened up here. Took on Rudiger. He's already tired. And then they backed off, and that was a mistake. First effort in an Arsenal shirt. First goal. Perfect record for the young Frenchman. Harry Kane now. Seconds left in this one. Can we win it back to end this game? No, Pedro. No, Alonso's there. Yes. And it goes all the way out. And that is the biggest daylight robbery I think we've ever been involved in. There's no doubt about it. These stats are going to be brutal. Chelsea fans, look away now. Ooh, seven shots on target, 12 in total. We only managed two shots on target, but we scored with them both. That is what's known as efficiency. Jack Butland, even in a 2-1 win, he ends up man of the match. That says a lot. He had a great game today. That's why we brought him in. He's probably won us the three points there. Or you could, actually. You could probably argue that Kylian Mbappe coming on and scoring with pretty much his first touch 
also had a big hand in our points today. Chelsea will be gutted. That's probably their title run out of uh, out of luck now. And we continue to march on. So there we go, another big three points. That sees us now go six points clear of Manchester City. Ho, 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 ho. Only one loss this season as well. Spurs won in the last game, but they are a magnificent 18 points behind us. So beating them today is going to be little more than just a, a nice bit of fun for Arsenal fans just to make this season, or how it's been so far, even sweeter. It's only three days later, which is difficult. We're probably going to have some tired legs, but I'm sure the derby boost will uh, keep these Arsenal players moving. So there we are, Karine Diakro. Well, she was able to motivate her players to play till the very last second to keep going in that game. Although Chelsea had all the possession, all the chances, we had that self-belief. And in oh, well, it wasn't quite Diakro time. We pushed and pushed. And we got our result in the end. Let's see how everyone's uh, feeling about today's game. Mbappe on a sideways arrow. Or oh, Goodwin Koyalipo on the green flashing. It's got to be, hasn't it? I think we'll play Mbappe out on the right today. Sanchez on a downward arrow will miss out. Oh, I do like Malcolm in there as well. No, I think we'll keep it as it is. That all looks good to me. Jack Butland on a downward arrow. That's a bit of a shame. To bring David Ospina in. That's not ideal. But we can work with that. That's fine. Big Roger Malcolm off the bench. James Rodriguez didn't do much in that last game. But we know he's got flashes of brilliance in him when he needs it. And uh, I think this could be the game potentially. Obviously Spurs without Harry Kane. Son up front. Eriksen and Ali, a deadly attacking midfield duo. And Kudo and Lamella playing sort of right wing and left wing backs. And then a really, really strong centre-back trio. This could be a tricky one. They've got Gazaniga in goal though. Which uh, gives us a little bit of a chance if we were to... Maybe hit one from distance. Let's get into it. So, the North London derby. They've been playing since 1909, these two sides. Only a mere few miles away from each other, just down the road of each other in North London. And it is Arsenal who are ahead in terms of wins. They've won 76 to Arsenal's 57. Can we add one more onto that win column? And uh, really, well, I mean, Spurs are well out of the, uh, the title at this point. All they can really do is try and disrupt our uh, what seems to be unstoppable run at the moment but you know we've got that great boost of confidence in the Chelsea game after being under the thumb all game but coming back and scoring the winner well I think we can do it again here We're full of confidence let's do this oh that's not a good idea Fabinho is it really Son now oh gets away from him far too easily and Ospina has the save to make oh that's that's not like you Fabinho that was way too casual in that position and then Laporte is mesmerised. He's sent on a merry dance. Ospina, though, stretching all of his four foot five frame. Manages to get a glove to it. Four minutes in and Spurs will have a corner here. It's going to be Christian Eriksen to whip this one in. Marquinhos is there with Ali. Laporte can get to the second header, but it's not cleared. Oh, and Ospina again has to make a save. Spurs off to a great start. Fabinho into James Rodriguez. Spurs putting us under a lot of pressure whenever we're on the ball. It's a good ball down the line into Lamar. Steps inside of Alderweireld. Now to the line. Ah, oh, Sissoko does well. First corner of the game here. And it's going to be Thomas Lamar to whip one in. It's high. Oof, good save. Hernandez picks it up. Out to Lamar. Time to look up and whip a dangerous ball in. Goodwin Kualapu with the header again. Scored the first goal with his head in the uh, last game. Decent effort there. Gazaniga palms it over the bar. Ah, Lamar turns to Soko with ease. And he can push it down the line into Goodwin Koyalip, who's just broken the offside trap. It's a perfectly timed run into the box here. Oh, and that's good defending from Alderweireld. We'll get another corner, though. Maybe Thomas Lamar. Great ball in. Koyalip is there. Hernandez will hit this one. Whoa, great hit. Great hit. Gazaniga forced into a good save. And that could have been the first goal. Here, yeah, Hernandez just watched it all the way onto his foot. Let it drop. Forced a save. It was certainly going in. Hernandez into Lamar. Oh, good, beautiful work. Now Theo Hernandez. Ball in looking for Koyalipu. <sighs> Doesn't fall. Mbappe will get to it, though. Here's Rodriguez into Koyalipu. Oh, he's offside. Unlucky. Unlucky. We're starting to play our way into this now. Lamella. Just to get away from Hernandez. That's a good ball in. Ospina with the save. Really would be more comfortable with Butland in today. And Kudu. 
Floats the ball in. Son with a good effort. Oof. Jesus Christ. Deli Alley, good footwork. But Fabinho's there. And then Tielemans. Still can't get it back, though. Son with the effort. Oof. Ospina, another save. Spurs all over us here. Can we soak up this pressure? Hit him on the break. This could be the last chance of the half here. 44 minutes gone. Another corner for Tottenham. Marquinhos should get to this one. He does. And Kuda will have a go. Oh, my God. Oof. Could have fallen anywhere. But Lamar will get to this now. We have time for a last break here. It's to take on Alderweireld. Oh, no. That's going to be half time. We had a chance there. Hit him on the break. Oh, no way. It's half time. One more chance here for Spurs. 46 minutes gone. It's going to be Ericsson to try and float one in here. He steps over. Lamella will go. Dubois heads down. And Fabinho clears. And that is half time here. And we are under the cosh here at Wembley. Once again, far less efforts from Arsenal. But we're not concerned. We don't need to be dominating games. We never have. We have had more possession in this one, which is rare. We never needed that. We can always hit him on the break. That's what we did in the last game. We can do it now. Come on. Lamar into Kyalapu. Little layoff into James Rodriguez. No, wrong decision there. But it's fallen to Goodwin Kyalapu. He'll hit one. Gazaniga saves. Rodriguez was trying to find the opportunity to let off one of his trademark rockets. Couldn't quite find the space. Tottenham charging in at any opportunity. If we can play our way out of this press, we could be in luck. Lamar now. Side of Alderweireld. Looks for the uh, overlapping run from Theo Hernandez. He'll get a ball into the box. Coyella put at the far post. Doesn't fall to him. So a couple of early changes here. Goodwin Coyalapu and James Rodriguez both struggling to get involved under the pressure. Do we need a little bit more pace and a little bit more power up front as well. So it's Big Rog and Malcolm on. What can they do? We can start punting some big balls to Big Rog and straight away doing what we've asked him. Winning the header. Now Hernandez into Rog. For the ball round the corner into Mbappe. Kieran Dyer will deal with it. Oh, mistake. Oh, could fall to Lamar here. First time effort. No. <laughs> Had to keep that down. It was essentially an open goal. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas, please. It's absolutely crazy game this. Could fall anywhere. And he had one opportunity just to hit that first time. Sails over the bar. Chances have been few and far between for Arsenal in this one. That's disappointing. Another free kick opportunity here for Spurs. Eriksson. What can he do? It's going to be Lamella. Janssen gets the header back into the box. Great effort. Oh, and Deli Alley puts it wide. And it wasn't to be, unfortunately. I think we did pretty well, actually, to get the uh, get the single point out of that. Tottenham were absolutely out for blood today. They were running around like a mixture of Shaolin soccer and some of the crazy zombies from 28 Days Later. They had blood lust. They had blood lust today, and we did very well. Look at that. 14 tackles, only one foul somehow. They were sliding in everywhere. I think we'll we'll take that. We'll take that. Kylian Mbappe with 4.5. I mean, we shouldn't be playing him out on the wing, really. That was that was a mistake. It was an error of judgment from Kareem Diakra. But we'll take the point. And it still sees us four points ahead of City. So that's fine. We just got to, uh, yeah. I mean, the, those derbies can go either way. And that was one of the ones where it just felt like hanging on for dear life was our only real option. And we did a pretty good job of that. So... Before the next episode, we will be playing these games against RB Leipzig, which isn't going to be an easy one. We've got some good players, RB Leipzig, and we need to progress in this competition. But we'll see the uh, highlights of that in the next episode. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably play a few. We might play Liverpool, and then our round of 16 first leg, maybe, in the episode. And then we'll miss a few more games, and then we might play, say, City in the semi-final. And then another semi-final and see where we are in the league. And then uh, if we need to play any more games, we might have already had it wrapped up. Who knows? Just got to keep things going. Got to keep those points ticking over. Three points today would have been nice. Wasn't to be in the end. But actually, after two pretty poor performances in both of the London derbies, I think four points is a good result. I'll see you in a bit.